If you're looking for a little bit more detail on the Van Dutch 40, here's a video of some of my favorite features and some of the items on the boat that nobody talks about. Let's go. So a lot of people ask me about the Bimini's on Van Dutch 40s. It tends to be a little contentious because the debate is how much shade does it actually provide. We're about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and it's given a good amount of shade to all the major seating areas on the boat inclusive of the aft sun pad. So as far as shade goes, it gives plenty. Now how does it come off? Each of these little pins comes out with a little bit of pressure. I recommend two people take it off. It's not something that you can do easily in one fell swoop, but it does come off if you want that amazing Van Dutch sleek open look. Maybe on a special night uh, where you go to dinner at a restaurant, you can take it down, enjoy the stars. July 4th, big night where they take the Bimini's off, but otherwise, you're gonna leave it up. Let's talk features. Little features, stuff that you don't really even pay attention to in a normal listing video. Pop-up cleats, convenient, easy to use for my owner operators out there, much simpler than the alternative. Swim platform size. I mean, I don't advise being out here while you're running the boat, but it's comfortable, it's big, it's high enough off the water where you feel safe. Now, you go swimming. Oh, you have so much salt on you. Ew, seaweed, gross. Wash off. Don't let that stuff in the boat. Dirt, grime. Convenient freshwater hose hidden away. Nice feature. Hidden here, garbage can. Small, but once again, what are you gonna get? It's a 40 foot boat, day boat, you got a nice place to put your garbage. Now the other thing you could do, you could take this garbage can out, this could be a storage. Now let's jump to the bar. Sink, Victor keeps this boat almost too clean. Feels like a new boat, but sink, sink, both drains. Good to hold ice if you wanna do something like that. Fridge. Freezer, ice maker, nice feature. You know what I would like to point? Yeah. This boat that I like a lot, the fact that you have a latch in both sides of the door. So normally in other boats, you will find just one this latch, right? That is this one over here, I just saw what happened. So right now, the other latch is locking the door wide open, so you don't have the door going back and forth when it's, you know, when it's rocky. You see, right now it's locked, right? Yeah. And you will see, why do we have a latch here? Well, because when we have this latch here working, the door won't come up. Nice feature. Got any kids? Maybe somebody that wants to watch some live TV or the latest movie that just came out. This Van Dutch is wired with an HDMI port that's built into the wall. Now, obviously an HDMI port is not that special, but I think it's cool how it's built directly into the wall and hidden away. Uh, it's really convenient, and if you got kids and you need them to do something, take a nap downstairs while you're enjoying the day, plug an iPad in, plug a computer in, plug any type of device that has cellular data coming through, and you can put it straight onto that TV. With the on-off process, you're gonna touch all three battery buttons. You got services, you got port engine and starboard engine, and at that point, your power is on. And all you have are breakers for fresh water, toilet, your windlass command, thruster command, your blowers in the engine room, the power on the engine room hatchback, and then for the, uh, for the AC system, outlets, battery chargers, water heater, air conditioning, and domestic appliance. So that's it. And when you come on board, you're pretty much leaving your settings as they were when you left the boat the last time. So no real need to change anything. You can come right on board, hit these battery switches, head up to the helm, turn the engines on, and get going. Might as well.
as well talk bathrooms here because this is an important feature of this boat. In the past generation of Van Dutch 40s, the bathroom was not something you were proud of. It wasn't something you wanted to use. It wasn't something you wanted your kid to use, your wife to use. It was put there and you hoped that it never got seen. This boat, this second generation, it's something that you can be proud of. It's got a nice sink, nice toilet space, and right over here, a built-in shower. That could never have happened in the old boat because in this version, there's actually 10 inches more of ceiling height, especially over there because the ceiling actually gets higher as you go into the shower. So if you did have to use it, it's comfortable, it's cool. It turns a three-hour day into a six, seven, or an eight-hour day. A lot of people say, look at the bow, it looks so nice, it looks so calm, it looks like a great place to lay, but how do I get there? Now, it is simple. The first time, it's gonna be a little daunting, but the second time, you'll learn to hold on to the side of the boat, you'll walk up to the front, and it becomes a totally accessible space. Now, which Victor pointed out, the other way to get there if you're six foot two or you have long legs, <laughs> is to step straight onto the piece of S-deck that they've put conveniently here. Not a lot of people know, but that's for stepping on so you don't slip on the paint. Reed Nichols signing off from another amazing day on this Van Dutch 40 listed with me and Wave Yacht Sales. You can check it out online. It's a 2021 Van Dutch 40 listed for sale at 925. Now it's managed in Miami by V&J Yacht Services. They keep this boat brand spanking new. So give them a check online. And otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.